So here we are with my colleague Ricardo Patara and myself, Jorge Villa, and very quickly we're going to give you an update of the work of ASO AC. We're going to do it very quickly. The first thing, basically, ASO AC, the ASO Address Council, this we are the NRO number council that is a consultative body for numeric resource policy. We there are 15 of us, three people for each uh, RIR, and basically, we we our terms last two years, so we act as consultants uh, for the uh, for ICON for number policy, and we. We have functions also, we have play a role in the nomination of the two members for the ICON board and a member for the NOMCOM of ICON. And basically, we work using, uh, we work uh, through monthly telecoms uh, uh, and uh, with uh, an annual in person meeting. These are the current members of the council. In the case of our region, those of us working in the council, we have Esteban Lescano, who was uh, here in the room, Ricardo Patara, and myself. In this case, the chair of the council this year is uh, from RAIPE, is Hervé Clément. I don't know whether he's here in the room, but we've been fortunate because he's come to our meetings at uh, LACNIC so, to, so that, uh, that we can work together on some pending issues. So it's a pleasure to have Hervé here. This year, the vice chairs are Ricardo and Nicole Chan of APNIC. Those are the vice chairs. Now, we have a group uh, that uh, uh, follows the process. In this uh, case, uh, the uh, team that proposes, facilitates the uh, policy proposals. And in ACNIC, uh, it was my job to work there, here. The, our work, we try uh, to in, improve the transparency. Our annual meeting is this face-to-face -face meeting. Uh, and al we also have a monthly video conferences. Usually it, it tends to be the first Wednesday every month, but the uh, timetable is uh, open to the public and anybody can attend as an observer. And the list of the post that we use for our daily work is also open. So, and I hope that uh, you may consult, uh, you, can, you can check. So now I'll give the baton to Ricardo and he'll tell us a bit of what's happening with our work. Thank you, Jorge. Good afternoon. Before uh, reaching a more interesting point, uh, let me highlight that there are people in ICON. The first two are ICON directors. This is a process of selection of uh, people for the board. These are two positions of and now, uh, well, we have Alan Bart in uh, position nine that will complete his version. Christian Kaufman para el puesto diez. We also have. Uh, the icon key. We we have a body that selects uh, people for uh, other. Uh, uh, things um, and uh, for the NOMCOM, there's this is I, I forgot to mention Brashek Shain uh, that whose mandate whose term uh, finishes in 2022. Well, actually, it finished already. We already started a process to uh, uh, choose uh, to elect the next person. Now, the uh, 
calls for nominations has already been completed. We are now evaluating the candidates, and uh, that uh, process will go continue to May. Uh, um, to, to, well, it was completed in April 5th, uh, 25th, and we, in, in, uh, it will, they will be evaluated until May 17th, and uh, we'll vote uh, from the 18th to the 24th of May, and we will announce uh, the uh, representatives elected in, on the May 26th, uh, and we will announce uh, the, who the new representatives are. So this is what we were mentioning earlier that highlights the work carried out by the groups over the past years. A lot of work was done last year. And this is a review of the procedures we have. For example, one is how do we appoint people for ICANN's board? How do we follow the global policy development? And this was mentioned regarding how the ICANN directors were elected previously, there was a need of making some adjustments, but also a specific situation that called our attention for some mechanisms that we use for selecting or finding consensus within the group. That is why we are working intensively on reviewing the procedures and in order to make updates. So the expectation is that by June, we have this ready to submit this for the approval of the Council, which is part of the agreement we have with ICANN. And I'd also like to mention, as I said earlier, the person that is currently in position number nine finishes his mandate in 2024. So we now started the selection process initially, opening the opportunity for nominations. This normally takes place in the month of September the following year, following the interviews and the selection process. So pay attention if you're interested in that position at ICANN. Pay attention to the list and the website, or even come up to us if you have any questions, because in September, more or less, we start with the selection process. I think that would be all. Any questions? Any comments? Thank you. Muchas gracias. No sé si yeah. Thank you. Any questions? Any comments? A round of applause, please. So, he is our boss over there. It's, my, it's not my language, so I, I, I've understood I'm the guy with uh, this year, the chair of the ASOAC. Uh, thank you, you two, for this presentation from Ricardo, uh, Jorge, and I understand that uh, Esteban has uh, other priorities, and he couldn't be there uh, to present today. And I, I wanted to thank you, uh, the LACNIC representative, because uh, you always here in the ASOAC uh, with a very good spirit and you have a uh, hard worker for all the tasks uh, we have. So uh, I will say the thank you to you, really. Um, so so you, you mentioned uh, two or three things. Uh, so first, the uh, election we have for the NOMCOM and uh, the seat of the directors. Uh, so it's a message I uh, share to the community, so don't hesitate uh, to, uh, to present yourself for this nomination. Um, for the NOMCOM, for instance, uh, so for the uh, process you describe, uh, we have few candidates, less than uh, expected, uh, and the SOAC is an important body uh, for the relation within the ICANN and all the multi stakeholder model uh, we have. Uh, so that's the first message, and so you talk about uh, the update procedures, and thanks, uh, Ricardo, to shepherd this, uh, this uh, work. Uh, it's very important, uh, as we are only 13 uh, this year, because there, are, there is only one representative from the AFRINIC because of the governance problematic uh, this region is facing. Uh, no, and uh, we want to be sure that uh, we can uh, continue to fulfill uh, our different duties uh, in terms of election, etc., etc. And uh, perhaps I have uh, another things to do, but uh, you you were pretty uh, pretty complete. I see. 
Uh, I remember, so normally we have one face-to-face -face meeting uh, per year, so uh, we had this in the ICANN meeting in Cancun uh, two months ago, and uh, because of uh, the, uh, the hard work and large work we have to do because of the data procedures, um, perhaps a potential other things, so there will be the start of uh, the, uh, the board of director selection, so there will be another face-to-face -face meeting, so it will be during the APNIC meeting, uh, in Kyoto in September. And that's all for me. Thank you. So, thank you. We'll now go over to lunch. Sandra will kindly invite you. I'm not inviting you kindly. So, we'll resume at 2 p.m. Okay. I am sending you all away now. Come back at 2 p.m. Please come back at 2 p.m. We have two amazing presentations. Thank you very much to everyone.